My name is Paul Crompton. I'm a, a photographer. I recently retired from Cardiff University and Cardiff and Vale Health Board. And I've had the privilege of working with Professor Hall on a number of projects, including this one, which is a part of the Phoenix Project, which was, was started originally as one of Cardiff University's flagship engagement projects uh, and has now evolved into something much bigger. But this particular part of the exhibition are photographs taken on a midwifery training course in Namibia, where Cardiff University was working with the University of Namibia to uh, help reduce poverty and improve healthcare. What I've been trying to do in the photographs is tell a story, tell a story of the visit to northern Namibia. Uh, the first part of it is talking about the Okanjongwe Mother's Hostel. And then the second bit is the, the part where Julia, Grace and Perry are teaching skills to the midwives in uh, there's like it's 24 midwives in the course. And the pictures try to tell a sort of overall story and then little details of what's going on so that they're being taught safe needle handling practices because in Africa that's really important with HIV so needle stick injuries can be quite devastating. So safe handling of the needles is really important. But also birthing challenges, so one of the pictures I think is showing Grace and a group of women doing simulated breech delivery and how to handle that. So we have a general picture and then a close-up of, of what's going on. And then the final picture in the story is what we're trying to achieve, which is a, a happy mum with a healthy baby. So I'm Maggie Cullinane. I work at Cardiff School of Art and Design and I work in the Stitch Room. I basically teach whoever wants to come my way how to sew. Um, we have lots of fun. And also since 2012 I've been a volunteer and a fundraiser for Mothers of Africa. Mothers of Africa was set up in 2004 by Professor Judith Hall, OBE, from um, uh, Cardiff University and the University Hospital um, of Wales. Uh, the aim of the um, charity was to look after women in pregnancy and childbirth and to reduce the terrible, devastating um, rate of maternal mortality in sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, so the quilt behind me um, is quite different to the other ones. All the other ones have actually been by lots of different people and they've been for uh, Zambia, for Shiala, the village where we work. When I went out, I felt it was really important to tell the stories of the women that I met and of the people um, that were living there and the, lives that, the kind of lives that they were living and I came back with all these fantastic photographs and I thought I've got to do something with these and that's when I made this quilt and it's my story of Shiala quilt. The portraits are all of women um, out in Shiala, there's the school teacher, the women who run the health post, the women who really really give so much to their communities, the, um, there's one family there of a lady who gave birth to one of her children in the bush, there's women there who come to the health post and the education centre across miles and miles. They sing and dance all day. I taught them to sew. They took the mickey out of me. They teased me. They laughed at my attempts to speak their language. We had lots of fun, but at the end of the day, they learned something really, really important. Um, so I created this quilt uh, that told their story, the story of everything that the charity has done out there with the solar power and um, getting energy into the health post so women aren't giving birth by candlelight anymore. Um, anyone who wants to help Mothers of Africa through this quilt project can help, anyone can. Um, we've had everyone from three-year-olds in nursery making hand prints to women out in textile groups making quilts for us. We've had students, we've had so many different people and one of my favourite contributions in the first quilt came from our chaplain at Cardiff Met. He couldn't sew, he couldn't draw, but he wanted to help. So he sewed until his fingers bled and then just threw everything away because he thought it was so bad. He had another attempt which still didn't work. And in the end he went out and bought himself a little cuddly lion, took the head off and sewed it by hand onto a piece of cloth. 
that came through to me, attached a post-it note, and it said, I know it's rubbish, but I just wanted to, to be involved. Um, I don't mind if you don't put it in. So I emailed him back and I said, I'm definitely going in, it's going in, because what this project is about, is about is people helping and making a difference. It's not about being a great artist or a wonderful sewer or, or a fantastic drawer. It's about people wanting to make a difference and that's why it's going in. And it went in right at the top of the quilt and it's lovely and I love it. Um, so don't worry if you're not a great sewer or a great artist. If you want to help, you can. You can get in touch with me by email. My email address is gmcullinane at cardiffmet.ac.uk. There's also um, an email address for the project, which is moaquilt at cardiffmet.ac.uk. Either of those will come through to me and you can get involved. You can be in the next exhibition and it can be your work next time that we're talking about. <laughs>